Hello again and good day, Errol Lawson here. Thank you for stopping by the leadership video blog and uh, I'm just answering a series of questions right now sent in by different young people from around the world about how they, um, just, just questions about life, questions about life, that's what it's about. And the question that's coming today is, um, how do I know what I'm supposed to do in life? How do I um, not find out my call? Let me read it exactly. Um, don't want to misquote the person question was um, bear with me how can I find what I'm good at that was the question how can I find what I'm good at all right so here's what I think right um, I was in Africa oh, just a couple of years ago now and I had the chance to sit down um, with, the, with the head teacher in one of the schools uh, we were kind of working with and he began to sit down and tell us his story about how he kind of raised his daughters, you know, and it's just like a one of those conversations where he's just imparting this wisdom and knowledge and experience um, into me and my business partner. And he's saying like, when they, his kids grew up, they got to a certain age, and one of them wanted to be um, a doctor, and one wanted to work with um, engineering or what have you. And so what he did was he he took them um, to a friend of his who had a, a like a, a surgery, a doctor's play clinic or something like that, and and got them some work experience. Just, just send them this. Hey, go and try this out. See how it feels for you. And um, if you like it, great. You know. So he did this for all of his kids, and it all went round trying out different careers in different places. Just a few weeks here and there, just to get a feel for it, to see if they had a natural kind of fit for it. And and some of them did, and some of them didn't. And what happened though was. What was really kind of nice to me was that um, they came back to their dad and said, you know what, dad, I don't like this, can I try something else? And they, some tried different things, some felt, yes, you know what, this is for me. But they went through a process of discovery to find out sort of, you know, what they enjoyed doing, what they were passionate about, uh, and what they were really connected to. And so my advice is this, guys, if you're thinking, you know, what am I called to do? What's my purpose? Um, you know, what am I here for kind of thing? Go and try some stuff. Like go and just go and volunteer somewhere. Go and volunteer in a in the kind of career or profession that you want to get involved in. Find a way. Like talk to somebody, whether it's at, at home or school or wherever it is. Like your parents say, you know, I'm thinking of being a doctor, mum. Can you get me a few days in doctor surgery? Thinking of being a dentist, mum. Give me a few days of dentist surgery. Go knock on some doors. Write some letters out there. Don't wait for school to send you on a work experience placement. Go and find your own work experience placement. Go and experiment. Try stuff. Yeah. See what you enjoy doing. Don't sit on your backside, hoping that one day you'll get this kind of light bulb from heaven, like it says, "This is what you're called to do." It doesn't work like that. You gotta go out and try stuff, experiment, see what you like doing, see what you're interested in, and um, but go out and try. That's my, that's my advice to you if you're thinking today like what's my purpose in life how do I find out what I'm here for like just go and try different things just say yes to stuff as well when the requests come in and you eventually you'll find what your your fit is all right you'll get some good feedback I hope that helps you God bless you have a fantastic day enjoy what you're doing be blessed see you again next time bye bye for now